Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so I'll follow the, the format that I've been using uh, pretty much to date whenever I've been doing one of these, which is to offer an update with respect to numbers and uh, by that referring to numbers on the VDH website, which I, I trust most of you know about. It's updated every morning. And then make a general comment or two related to what seems to be kind of the, the most current issue, things that I have been getting questions about and that also seem to be most relevant to where we are in this phase of the outbreak. And then leave a little bit of time at the end for questions. So with respect to uh, numbers updates, um, per the VDH website reporting, there have been 267 positive cases in Chesterfield County, 18 cases in Colonial Heights, and five cases in uh, Powhatan County as of today. Um, one of the topics, again, that, that does seem to be of, of interest and of relevance is the issue about exposures and infection in long-term care facilities. So I wanted to give you a, a little bit of a sense of um, kind of how public health responds to information that's shared with us, um, and then how we work with, with these facilities, as, as well as sort of the challenge internal uh, or, or uh, sort of part of uh, dealing with uh, outbreaks or, or even infection control in facilities across the board. So when health departments or public health hear about a case, um, there's, there's typically a time lag before we, we can really truly do anything about it. Uh, it's typically a week and a half, sometimes two weeks between when the person was actually exposed and when we are notified. And again, typically we are notified uh, by getting test results through a lab. And, and then there is that process of confirmation and so on. Um, and and there, are, there are a couple of important variables to consider with respect to the time frame. part of which includes how long it takes for a person to develop symptoms, which can vary by individuals. You probably heard that anywhere from two days to 14 days uh, before exposure and symptom, uh, between exposure and symptom onset. And uh, sort of the average, which, which seems to be around five to six days. So there's that time lag. And then in addition to that, there is uh, a time frame that we have to count for um, to get test results back, which can add an additional two days to a week, depending on where the labs are sent, how busy the labs were, so on and so forth. So which means by the time we hear about a case, it's, it's very possible, very likely, that others have been exposed um, in, in, that, in the facility as well. However, I do think most places have been vigilant um, and are putting stricter frontline infection control practices into place. Um, we are share, sharing information across the board to facilities as we're learning about best practices, uh, learned through experiences elsewhere. The challenge, however, is that once a facility has its first case, they're typically playing catch up for a while and then the goal then, um, as we work together with them to beef up their infection control processes, is to contain and um, slow the spread through infection control. However, we do expect, we do know that given um, the, the, the potential for additional exposures that we will see additional cases come in from either that initial exposure or even secondary exposures. So what this means is that even after that, that point of when we begin to more aggressively mitigate, uh, it could take another week or more to see how well the mitigation efforts have worked. And so again, it's, it, it does take a while between the initial exposure, when we hear about things, and when we can kind of talk about even how well mitigation efforts are working. Um, the good news is the places that we've been working with, the places that we have even across the board communicated with are, are certainly taking this seriously. Um, and, and by reports that we're getting, they're, they're good about implementing stricter infection control measures. Um, so again, I, I think I, I offer that up as, as hopefully preempting some of the information that you might be wanting to hear 
uh, specific again to long-term care facilities, which are which are in the news a lot at this phase of phase of the game. 